Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And today we're going to talk about address book. And how do you set up an address book on your server so that you can access it from all of your different devices and have a, a centralized uh, directory of all of your contacts. Now address book and server was really set up for corporate environments and if you've ever worked in a in a corporation where you've had a, a centralized uh, address book share uh, you'll know that there's usually a global address book that you access that has all of the different addresses that the uh, that the company has collected uh, which the all of the employees then can access and keep updated and communicate with and so the same is true here in Lion server that address book uh, creates the ability to have a centralized place where you store your addresses now in server itself we're going to talk through not only how to set it up and how to get the service running uh, but I'm going to give you a couple of options on how you can make this work within your own home environment uh, including sort of separate accounts and maybe if you wanted to just create one shared address book you don't really have to do that if you don't want to if you all sort of log into the same address book and and you give uh, permission to do that that's fine but I'll show you a couple of ways that you can take a look at that so right here in, in server app here's our address book uh, you notice like anything else big button over here to turn the service on uh, there's really only one setting here and that's to include directory contacts in your search. So when you're doing a search uh, on your local computer here on the server, uh, do you want to include the contacts that are on your directory? And so what we're going to do is just throw this switch to get the service started. And as soon as I hit it, you'll notice down here, it says starting address book server. And as we've talked about before, when this wheel is cranking here, that means server is thinking. And so you don't want to interrupt it or, uh, or do anything else. You want to give it time to think and get the thing started that it needs to get started. And so we're going to sit here and wait till it goes through this process of getting the server started. Um, so let's just, uh, we'll take a look at that. And when that's done and it's ready to go and set up, we'll go from there. You can see now that it's writing profile manager settings. And that's an important thing to remember that when we have profile manager turned on like we do here uh, as we did in the previous screencast it's going to actually write uh, settings to profile manager so that people can have access to this particular service. And uh, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like once uh, the server is done setting this up. So let's wait for this to happen. Wait till it's done thinking and uh, wait till we get the uh, green dot there and then I'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done on the other side. Okay, now that uh, server has finished setting up, we see that there's no spinning wheel down here anymore, so we know that address book is good to go. We've got uh, a little green dot next to the address book up here. So now we know that our address book server is running and everything's set up. Uh, one of the things I want to show you before I show you how to set up clients is I want to go over to Profile Manager right here and I just want to show you that uh, now that we have set up uh, Address Book, you'll notice it's added right here with a little icon. Uh, this other icon here is for VPN, which I uh, already had set up over here. I'm going to show you how to set that up. But as you begin to add services, the icons for those services will show over here. And what will happen is, is, is those will be included in a default configuration profile uh, under settings for everyone, or you can change the name if you want, uh, that, you, that you can push now to the different devices that you'll manage in Profile Manager. Now the reason I haven't done that part yet is because I want to get these services set up so that when we go to take a look at Profile Manager, you can see how all of these things get set up automatically. But now because I can't assume that everybody's using Profile Manager, I need to show you how to set up address book manually uh, on a client and on your server. So what I thought I'd do is start by showing you how to just set it up right on your server. Uh, if you're a home server user, most likely you're uh, probably going to be using your server also as a regular computer uh, to do things at home. So here's how you set that up uh, on your home computer. So if you just go to System Preferences, and I'm going to pull System Preferences up here for a second. And I'm going to put it right on top of there. And you go to this uh, area here where it says Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. If you click that, that'll load up and it gives you the ability then to attach to your server. Uh, so you can see here uh, it's got all of the different services that you have available um, on my server and it's loading some of the ones that I already have and what you're going to do is click other down here to add your server. All right. Now in this drop down you've got the ability to add all kinds of things. All right. Now what we're going to do is you can add you know just a regular um, LDAP directory account, a CardDAV account, I mean you can add whatever you want. Uh, what I'm going to do for simplicity's sake is we're just going to add a OS 10 server account. So you just click that and click create. Now what happens is it will locate 
uh, the server you've got. So whatever server you've got nearby, it's right there. Uh, if it doesn't show up, or for whatever reason, you can come down here and enter your server address. So whatever your address is for your server that you've got set up, you would put that in there. Then just click Continue. And now what you'll do is you'll put in your full name, uh, your account name, and your password. And what we're gonna, what it's going to do is it's going to go now and connect to the server and pull up your information. So let me type uh, that stuff in for a second, and then I'll come right back as soon as that's all ready to go. All right, now that I've got all of my information typed in there, I've got my full name, the account, and password. And this is important to remember, too, because I'm going to show you a different way to set this up. But uh, for right now, I'm putting my personal account uh, on the server and my password. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click Setup. And then what's going to happen, it's going to validate my user credentials, and it knows who I am. It's showing my account information up here, and I can use it with and, it, and whatever service. Now, right now, Contacts is the only service I've got available, so I'm going to check that. If calendar services were added, that would show up here, uh, different things that I can add. So I want to add this account now uh, to my address book. So let me click Add Account. And you can see now that it's going to go out, and it's connecting to my server and you got the little spinning uh, wheel there that's telling us it's it's doing thinking and now it's all ready to go and you'll notice on this side it says my mail server it says contacts are set up uh, everything is uh, is ready to go okay now that everything's set up and ready to go what I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you what it looks like when you uh, have separate accounts on the server for your address book so what I've got here is I've got I'm screen sharing with uh, one of my other computers uh, where I have well, one of the members of my family logged in so this is his address book on the top and the address book on the bottom here is the address book that I have on my server and you'll notice that each of us has a uh, Mac OS 10 server mine says all server uh, his also says all server on his we also have uh, the contacts that are on our Mac you have all contacts you have directory services uh, which is part of the whole uh, server setup so let me on his let me just show you what that looks like you'll see mine will my address book will go to the back for a second um, but I want you to notice I'm, I've clicked on my my server these are all the names on mine so I just put a name in there uh, so you can get a feel for it uh, he's on his all server and he's got he actually see he's on his all server right here I'm gonna click on it you can see my address book disappear he's got nothing uh, on his okay so you'll notice that the uh, contact that I have on mine is not showing in his because uh, this server account is linked to to my server account and and this one is linked to the other member of my family server account. And so when you set up Mac server this way, when you log in with your own credentials for each individual user, each person gets their own address book on the server. Now, the other thing is, is that your address book that's on the server, they don't communicate with one another. So when I go to uh, all contacts for his, if you'll take a look at that, he's got two uh, apples on there because uh, Apple put their name in there uh, twice. One was from the directory services. Now, if you look on mine, if I go to all contacts, now you notice I have an iCloud account as well. I've got a bunch of different accounts. Um, when you go to all contacts, here's the thing that, that gets a little tricky. Uh, you'll notice on my all contacts, I've got a big list of things. He doesn't. Um, you'll also notice uh, that, and you can't see this because I got some of it out, uh, but I've got the same name here three times. And that's because I've got my address book in three different places right now. I've got it in uh, iCloud. I've also got it on my server. I've also got it on another uh, contact list. And so what can happen is it can make this a little bit uh, a little bit confusing because uh, using the all contacts doesn't help me because I get everything on there. So there are a couple of things that you can do if you want to change this. A lot of times for families, we just want to have one address book that we all share because we have the same contacts. Maybe we don't want to have uh, all these individual uh, logins with our own private uh, address books. You might, but uh, a lot of times we might want to share one. So then you're saying, well, how do we go about doing that because each person has their own account? Well, let me show you how to do that real quick so that you get uh, get an idea of how this works. So I'm just going to uh, pop this down here. I'm going to pop this down. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to pull the server back up. And a little trick that you can do if you want to make that happen is you just add another user account. All right, you just pop another user account in here, and what you can do is you can just call it, and I'm not going to go through the whole process because you already know how to do this, but you just call it shared address book. Okay, and then you put in an account name for it, right? Short name, shared address book, uh, email address, you don't really need one, you put a password in, and then what happens is, is when you go back to 
system preferences and when you go to add this server again you are going to go and let me just click the details here so you can see something what you would do is you would put the shared address book name in here the password of the shared address book you do that when you um, when you add it okay so when you come in here and you want to add another service all right and you go to other and it walks you through the whole thing with the server you still add Mac OS 10 server account but instead of putting in your individual login what you're gonna do is put in the shared address book login and then have everybody else who goes through this process of connecting to your server put in the shared address book name and now everybody is gonna be using the same address book so that when I update it on on mine my computer it's gonna show on everybody else's computer and so that's one way that you can you can make it work so that your whole family has a shared address book now uh, personally you can look at it either way you want to as a home user uh, iCloud is available it's available for free uh, sometimes with a shared address book maybe that's the easier way to go and you just all log into the same iCloud account because it makes it work a couple little things to keep in mind if you're gonna use an address book that you've got to get access to all the time and you want it to update and sync over the air lion server is gonna do that for uh, uh, yeah lion server is gonna do that for you but you've got to remember that your server has to be on all the time now those of you in a corporate environment, you'll leave that thing running all the time anyway. Sometimes home users want to turn it off or, or whatever. Uh, remember, you're running a server now. Once you turn it off, all of your address book stuff goes offline because it's not sitting on your Mac, it's sitting on your server if you set it up this way. So you want to keep that in mind uh, as you're setting this up. For some of you, it might just be easier to use iCloud and not use this service, uh, but I wanted to show you how it works. Well, that's all I have for today on Address Book, and hopefully that helps you get that set up. I'll have a, uh, another screencast next week. We'll talk about uh, some of these other sharing services that will set us up then uh, eventually to talk about Profile Manager. But uh, hopefully that was helpful for you, and I'll be back at you next week with another screencast that teaches you how to do more things with your Mac.